The Random Jottings of Donald J. from Nelson in Pendle. The Golden Girls of Pendle in the 1600s. In the quaint countryside of Pendle, nestled in the heart of England, live two remarkable women named Anne Whittle, known as Old Mother Chattox, and Elizabeth Southern, referred to as Old Mother Dimdike. These two women were the embodiment of the rich traditions and knowledge passed down through generations, earning them the reputation as the Golden Girls of the Pendle area. Anne and Elizabeth were descendants of a long line of intuitive healers, whose expertise and wisdom had been passed down from their grandmothers to their mothers and finally to them. They possessed a deep connection with Mother Nature and her healing powers, using herbs, remedies, and ancient techniques to alleviate the sufferings of their community. Their skills were diverse and encompassed various aspects of holistic health care. The Golden Girls were renowned as skilled midwives, offering comfort and support to expectant mothers during childbirth. Their gentle hands brought countless babies into the world, ensuring the safety and well-being of both mother and child. But their healing abilities extended far beyond the birthing chamber. The women were tireless in their efforts to aid the sick, whether human or animal. They had a deep understanding of the intricate connections between the natural world and human health, harnessing the power of herbs and plants to treat a myriad of ailments. From simple fevers to more complex illnesses, they were revered for their ability to restore health and vitality. In the quiet solitude of their cottage, surrounded by lush herb gardens, Anne and Elizabeth spent hours concocting remedies and potions. They would carefully gather herbs from the countryside, venturing into the wilderness with baskets in hand, searching for hidden treasures of nature's pharmacy. Each herb they collected held a purpose, a secret remedy waiting to be discovered. The Golden Girls believed in the power of prevention and emphasized the importance of dietary therapy. They encouraged their community to embrace natural, wholesome foods, fostering a deep connection with the land and its bountiful offerings. By educating others about the benefits of a balanced diet and herbal supplementation, they aimed to prevent illness before it took hold. But their path was not without obstacles. In an era when traditional healers faced suspicion and persecution, the Golden Girls had their fair share of challenges. Accusations of witchcraft and heresy loomed over them fueled by the fear and ignorance of the times. However, the Golden Girls' genuine intentions and unwavering dedication to healing prevailed, as they continued to do justice to the memory of the countless women before them who simply sought to heal the sick. As the years passed, Anne and Elizabeth became cherished figures in their community. Their compassion, wisdom, and unwavering commitment to their calling earned them the respect and gratitude of all who sought their aid. They were seen as pillars of strength and knowledge, embodying the legacy of the women who came before them. The Golden Girls of the Pendle area left an indelible mark on the history of healing in their region. Their legacy lives on in the stories whispered among the villagers, passed down from generation to generation. The memory of Anne Whittle, Old Mother Chattox, and Elizabeth Southern, Old Mother Dimdike, remains a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit and the transformative abilities of nature's remedies. Their story serves as a reminder to honor and cherish the wisdom of those who dedicate their lives to easing the suffering of others and nurturing the delicate balance between humanity and the natural world. By Donald J.